Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am at the thrift store. It's been several months since I've been here, I think like four months. So today is actually uh, December 30th. So that's when I'm recording this video. I don't know when I'm going to put it up, but just so you guys know. So this is the front area where they have the case. Um, and look what they have here, this doll space pop. I don't know what series this is, maybe I'll look it up. Um, but she's in box, so the box is pretty crushed. Uh, and here, they have some dolls, I can't really tell if some of these are American Girl dolls. But look at this, guys, what I spotted. A Rainbow High doll up here, which means they think these dolls are worth something and now they're keeping them up here. Um, let me see, I can't see her price. Oh, and it looks like there's a second doll with her. Maybe I'll ask to see, just to see, um, you know, what other doll is with her. Although, it looks like it could be a sunny day in the shoes. Uh, but yeah, so that's what they have up here. I can't tell if any of these dolls are American Girl or not. But yeah, let's see what else they have. Alright guys, so I am at the fashion doll section. I kind of went through this already, although I haven't really checked some of these uh, uh, pegs because I just realized, look at this doll, I don't think I have uh, this. So let me actually check something. Well, this one looks like a color reveal. Let's see how squishy. Oh, her head is very hard. Uh, that would be kind of good. Uh, uh, because I was kind of maybe buy this back since I don't have this girl but her face has something so I don't know I think I'll, I'll look like stains I think I'll pass but um I really wish that head was a little bit more squishy because that way oh, she's pretty she's probably a holiday Barbie and they want $5.49 for this bag mm. prices have gone up a little bit what is this here Looks like possibly an older doll. There's a jasmine up there. I don't know who she's with. Oh, she's with one of these uh, new Living Kanto dolls. I saw this. Every time I see this doll, I get excited, but I forget that I already have her. Here's another color review. I have one. Oh, look. This is an interesting one, maybe. It's a holiday Barbie. I don't have this one. 49. That's a maybe. Um, what do I have? There are other. Some Hasbro dolls down here. Some color reveal. And I was gonna show you. Oh, yeah, they have her, but I already have her, so I'm gonna leave her behind. But they have a whole bunch of these dolls. I don't know who they are. Are they like hair adorables? The fashion dolls i saw like three different ones see like that one i think is also these two from this series they're kind of cute they have cute faces lots of disney dolls oh and cave club she's so cute actually oh this is the elena oh, avalor which i don't have this doll but um, i don't know oh she's interesting but she looks like a clone her weight is not right. Huh. Don't know which one that is. Let's see what else they have. Oh, look, she's a. Yeah, she definitely looks like one of those um, bottom used dolls. Four dollars. I think that Lena piece called. Is that the piece called? I wonder if it's another holiday Barbie of sorts. More of these. Uh, I think they're Encanto dolls. see here which one is this? this is Merida this is Merida I don't think I have a Merida but now I'm not 100% sure she has a pretty face uh, let's see what else is here oh I thought she was one of the maid to moves because I have like a million of her oh she's pretty also Let's see what else is down here because I didn't see this. It looks like a tall one. Can't be rebodied, I wonder. Uh, some articulation on some of these. Sorry, guys. Um, skipper. 
This one has articulation though. Try to take a look at her. This is six dollars for that bag. Isn't that crazy? Um, and I did add some to my cart. She has an outfit. Kind of cute. I did add some of these to my car, but I don't know if I'll take them yet. Um, this one right here, really beautiful face. I love this face because that's like the black Barbie from like the time I was a kid. So it's always nostalgic when I see her. Three bucks for this bag is not bad. It's the bag I just grabbed. I can't look at her face. Oh, okay. Is this face, she has an articulated body. It's 549, I don't know. This one's 549. It is a holiday Barbie. I might get this. With an, I think this is a Hasbro Anna. I don't know. Then this bag here is 449, but they have this girl. I like her face. I don't know. Is she like a clone or is she a real Mattel doll? I have to let me see if I can find any markings on her. Can't tell, but I'll, I'll try to look off camera. And then there's also Kira with me. So that one. And look what I saw this. I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to grab this. And she actually has her outfit too. 549 for this bag. I don't even know who the girl. Oh gosh. This looks like one of those. I forgot what like, vintage dolls. I don't know. I don't think that's her. Right. And this bag I might take it for her as a body donor, even though she's a little bit bulky might be good so i think that's it for now let's see what else i can find all right so this is the big doll section i mean they have a lot of stuff but it is a huge mess like look at all the stuff on the floor i did spot a chrissy doll i do already have two and i'm actually thinking of selling them they're up for sale so i don't think i'm gonna take this one especially because she doesn't have her clothes but it's crazy so i'm gonna see if i can dig through this stuff but i don't know that i'll have i'll be right, able to so I kind of dug through this a little bit. I found this. I think it's a fake Paula Reina doll. She just looks a little bit off to me. Like, I don't know, her body doesn't look right. And then I was looking at the brand. And although it says Paula Reina on the body, it says it's the magical. It's magical. I don't know. But I think this is a fakey. So I'm going to leave her behind. Let me see this doll. She looks like she could be potentially one of like those spanish dolls but i don't know uh it's just a lot to dig through i don't know that i'll be able to so i'll see if i find anything else in here i'll let you guys know but it's just so many things and doesn't look like there's anything uh there's a toddler animator jasmine uh, but yeah lots of lots of stuff all right guys so i'm back home and i'm gonna show you what i got i think i'm gonna post this video before the end of the year so this is gonna be my last video for 2023 um i meant to do a collection video and post that before this one but unfortunately i still need to fix a few things on my shelves before i do that so it might be my first video of 2024 we'll see <laughs> if i finish in time but the collection is looking cool so i'm really happy with how it's turning out um but yes so Anyway, let's get on to it. So the first batch of dolls was in this bag. It was $3.49 for these three girls. I got it mainly for her. Uh, I think she might be like a bubble angel uh, Barbie. I'm going to have to look at my book. But her hair is actually in nice condition. So I think it just needs a cleaning. Um, this one looks like a fakey type doll. I don't know. And then this one, um, I already have a doll with this face sculpt. And she's articulated. So I'll probably not keep that one. Um, then we have this other one that um, I got the bag for these two girls, um, but she's also very pretty, so I might keep her because I don't think, I, although I love her face, and I think I already have a doll with this face sculpt, um, but I might not have one with this hairstyle, so I might keep her. Uh, I got it made for Kira and this other doll, but unfortunately Kira's eyebrow, as you can see, is losing a little bit of the pink, but not too bad. She is like a ballerina type of doll so i'll have to look at my book and see who she is and the same goes for this girl i don't know if my book is gonna have her but i love her face she's super cute and she does have articulation so i wonder who she is um the next and this bag was 449 
Next we have this bag. I got it mainly for her, but I think somebody tried to put more blushing on her. So I'll see if that will come off with just a wash. Her hair is in okay condition. I mean, the strands are coming undone a little bit, but maybe if I cut that off, it'll be okay. And then I think this is a Hasbro Anna. She does have her outfit and shoes, so I might be able to use that on another Anna doll that I have. And this was $5.49. Kind of pricey, I think, but you know. And then finally, I got this bag, mainly for the Sailor Moon doll, but then I noticed there was another vintage doll with her. Uh, this bag was $5.49. Unfortunately, she doesn't have her shoes and she's missing one of her gloves, but how cool is that? Uh, it did say 2000 on her back, so she's from the, you know, around the 2000s. Um, but she's almost complete, so that's pretty cool. And she used to be my favorite character on the show back in the day. And then this doll, she is by Ideal. She kind of reminds me of Tammy, but I don't think it's Tammy. So let me know if you guys know who she is. Uh, and then I ended up leaving the Wonder Woman behind. I was going to get her to, just to be a body donor, but, you know, I just left her behind because I already have a few made-to-move bodies and a Wonder Woman um, that I can use on another doll if I need to. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe because I do have more thrifting videos. I actually have one that's recording, recorded and I need to edit, which has a huge haul of dolls. So, I, you know, I hope to post that soon. Um, but I also have some makeover videos that are also pre-recorded and I need to edit. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know your doll plans for next year, you know. Are there any doll lines that you're specifically looking forward to? I know that I saw some uh, Barbie news um, and some of the dolls look really amazing. So I might have to get some of those. We'll see. Um, and then Rainbow High, you know, there's been a lot of sad things about Rainbow High lately with the news of, you know, them doing slime dolls and stuff. So we'll see how, what direction that collection goes into because Rainbow High dolls were the dolls that I purchased the most this year, I think. So we'll see. We'll see if I'll continue collecting Rainbow High. But I mean, the slime dolls, some of them do look cute. So I might get a couple of those. We'll see. Um, and then I don't know. We'll see what else the new year brings. I did pre-order the worry pull-up, so I will be getting that sometime next year. Um, and then I think that's it for now, guys. So thank you all so much for watching and have a happy new year. See you next time. Ciao.